I think we counted fifth after fifth, COVID. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The opportunity to have the kids out here to be able to do this, just how much is that? Oh my gosh, it's so meaningful. And just the numbers of kids that have grown and the interest that has grown, I think really speaks to the value of this program. And just being able to give the kids an opportunity to participate in camp and be supported in being able to successfully engage in camp-like activities that might be challenging for them otherwise. Um, and just the community um, that it creates with the basketball players and the PT students, everybody always just has a wonderful time and the energy is phenomenal. It's a meet to you guys just to see the reaction on their faces getting to do stuff like this. It's invaluable. It's so meaningful just to know that they're here and able to have a fun time and that some of those barriers that they might exist in daily life are eliminated so that they can have fun and do fun things. Um, and just knowing that we can facilitate that, it, it's indescribable. Why is it so important for them to come out and be around the players and be able to just get out, have some fun and do different activities? Yeah, absolutely. So some of these kids with special needs might not have the same opportunities that their peers have to participate in summer camps because physically or emotionally or mentally it's too challenging for them. So to give them that opportunity to be like their peers and to be able to say that they're going to summer camp and being able to play with the Creighton basketball players um, gives them a chance to be like other kids around them, even though they might have some of those special needs. Uh, why is basketball or just sports in general a good outlet for this group of kids? Absolutely. I think just for any kids, it's so important for them to remain physically active. And for some of these kids with special needs, it's harder for them to do that, which is why we pull in the PT students. So we can figure out how can they be successful and remain physically active and engaged in sport and community with other kids because it's good for their health, it's good for their mental well-being, and it creates a sense of community that they might not otherwise have. We've been doing this for five years. Has there been any returners? Kind of, what's the relationship with Yeah, absolutely. I think, like I said earlier, the the numbers of campers has continued to grow, um, and hopefully we can expand because every year our wait list continues to grow too. So I think in looking at campers this year, we maybe had almost 50% return campers, um, and 50% were new um, and new to our program. So exciting to be able to kind of expand that community and that opportunity to more families, but also keep some of the kids who have done this and enjoyed it engaged in the camp as well too. And then what kind of opportunity does this present the students that are able to interact? Yeah, absolutely. Our students get a, a good interaction with kids, but it, not in this way. So it's a fun way, I think, for them to think outside of the box about physical therapy for our students and think about how do these kids participate in daily life and what does it mean for them to have these opportunities that aren't therapy related. A lot of these kids have lots of therapies for years and years and years and to be able to go to a camp and not have to think about working on something but just to have fun and hopefully gives our students in PT the perspective to think about what are their patients in the future doing in the community to be engaged and what is participation and engagement look like outside of just physical therapy and hopefully for the basketball program just exposure to different populations to know what kids with special needs are like and that they're just like other kids they just need some small adaptations and they just want to have fun too so um Mason, how did you get involved with this camp kind of what was your passion behind it oh yeah so uh you know it's it's a really big thing in this world you know uh all the different situations and people live in but uh for me it's a, something in my family you know we've struggled with it a little bit but i mean it's a really it's a, honestly a good experience to have uh, it's a good thing to do, and for the, especially for the community and everything. What's the family connection that you have? Oh, one of my cousins, uh, she actually has autism, so we had, to, we had to deal with that. But I mean, well, even it's, a good, it's honestly a good experience to have, you know. Uh, she's really, really fun to play with. I, mean, I hang out with her all the time. Uh, and, you know, it's a good time. It's really a good time. What's it like being around these kids today? Does it kind of bring back those memories of being out with Definitely, you know, definitely. Uh, hang out with them here, you know. Uh, we get to play basketball, you know. It's a really fun thing to do. Uh, what's it like seeing, you know, you and your teammates being able to interact with these kids um, and you know, participate with them playing the sport that you all love? Yeah, uh, you know, showing them how to play, you know, just, just playing with them all the time, you know. We got to show them how to shoot, you know, do the relay. It was a good time to do with all the, the whole team and everything. Yep. Well, what does it feel seeing like just the reaction that the kids have, you know, when they make a basket? Just even getting the opportunity to take a picture with you guys. Yeah. Kind of what's it like 
It was definitely exciting. You know, seeing uh, seeing them have a good time is definitely the best part about it. What was your favorite part of the camp? Maybe maybe your favorite moment. Um, you know, just seeing uh, how happy they were when uh, whenever they scored, probably that's probably my favorite part. For sure. How important is it to kind of take time away from the X's and O's practices and stuff to do something like this? Yeah, it's definitely something we need. You know, we need definitely need a break. You know, uh, all the all the grinding we do. Uh, Finally, take a step back, you know, just be able to do this uh, for the community, so it's fun. Young kids are something that always look up to college athletes. Uh, looks like you have an, an autograph on your shirt here. Why don't, why don't you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so uh, before I had headed over here, actually, uh, one of the kids came over and uh, wanted to sign my shirt. The other, uh, it's, the other way, it's the other way around today, so yeah, it's a good time. Yeah, we got uh, high expectations this year. Um, just, just keep doing the same thing we did last year. You know, it's not nothing different. You know, last year might have been under the dogs, but same same thing this year, anyways. Same thing. What was it like for you last year? Like redshirting, kind of sat back and watched that season. What did you learn in that time? It was a good experience. I definitely needed it. Uh, just learning how uh, college basketball is played. A lot different from high school basketball, for sure. Learning how everyone plays in this, I definitely needed it for sure. There's a lot of hype obviously surrounding this team um, heading into this next season. How do you guys kind of balance that hype? Just knowing you're going to play. We just can't change the way uh, we come into the practice every day. You know, don't come in like we're the best team. You still got to come in like like you're the underdogs every day. Just the opportunity to be out here to get the guys out here away from the practice court. How special is it? You know, if you really think about it, it's win-win for everybody. Uh, the kids have a great time, obviously. And our guys, you know, initially they're a little hesitant, but once they get into it, the smiles are incredible. And to really understand how special they are, you know, not only the kids, but that they function like a normal person. And God has blessed them, right? And they, sometimes they forget that. So it's it's a great experience. It's a win-win for everyone. I think the parents really enjoy it. Uh, coaches enjoy it. Uh, there's nothing greater than seeing all the smiles uh, on their faces. Oh, what's your favorite moment from these years? <laughs> my favorite moment today was a young man trying to look for my whistle. And I whistle with my fingers. And he couldn't, he made me empty my pockets. He looked down my shirt. He was certain that I had a whistle somewhere. Uh, but there's a, a million stories that you can tell with these kids. And, and that's the great thing about our guys is it's a lifetime experience for them, right? I mean, they're, they're, they'll talk about this for till next year. Uh, it's just a really, really cool deal. It's the fifth year we've done it. And we missed one year with COVID. Um, and obviously the physical therapy students and faculty do a great job of organizing and uh, getting all the paperwork done. So it's a collaborative effort. Yeah, I think um, actually Butler University started it and they contacted our physical therapy department and asked if we would have an interest in doing something like that. And eventually, uh, I think we've surpassed what Butler does. I mean, they just kind of have an open house or whatever, but um, in the, and every year it gets better. Uh, but that's the history of it. The physical therapy said, would you guys be interested? And obviously when you have opportunities like this to give back within the community in a special situation like this, you take advantage of it. I think, uh, first of all, probably relieved because in, in probably, I don't know, 90% of their cases, they've never experienced, you know, working with special needs children and to understand that yeah they have special needs but they're just like us you know they, they can perform and they're competitive and they enjoy life and athletics just as much as we do how important is the system community to be able to have this outlet and come see you know, these people are uh, these players that maybe these kids idolize well, no question i mean it you know one of the another great story is uh one of the young men 
wanted to attack Ryan Kalkbrenner because he wanted to know how his knee was doing and how his rehab was doing. You know, he could care less about the camp, but he went directly to Ryan and, and, and asked him, you know, how are things going? So it has an effect uh, on, you know, obviously the young men, it, as you mentioned, they're idols. These guys are very looked up to in this community and for them to give back is special. We're as healthy as we've been. Yeah, we're, we're feeling really good. We had a couple workouts this week. We got another one tomorrow. Um, but yeah, everyone is, is pretty much good to go. Uh, I guess that's a blessing in itself. You know, at this time of the year, that's the number one goal is to keep everybody healthy. Yeah, obviously expectations are uh, uh, very high, and they should be. I mean, this is an extremely talented group. Um, obviously, there's a lot of work yet to be done to mold this group into the way that last year's team bonded and, and found ways to win games. Good? I guess to the, well, I'm going to that. How does an event like this help bond a team? I, yeah, great question. Um, you know, you can do, like, you know, we got a high school team camp following this that's why they're here that you know they've traveled from different places for team bonding you know they spend the night together it's the same thing with a camp like this to be able to work together to collaborate to, to work with the physical therapy students um, to try to you know you, you saw some of the activity in these kids and, and the attention span and trying to pull them back in um, it's it's great because some of that we deal with as coaches too you know the boredom and the different things that go on with normal people. So for them to have to maybe, I wouldn't say uh, handle the frustrations of it, but to see that there's different ways about to do things. Well, you know, again, it, it, it's great. We did have some a great recruiting class. And, you know, the most important thing at this time of the year, in my opinion, is they like each other. And they're getting along and you know that's where it starts you have to have a group that is willing to sacrifice maybe their personal gains or their personal needs for the betterment of the team and as you know last year's team did that as well as any team i've been ever around